Hello, welcome to my channel, Crafty Fox DIYs. Hang on while I turn off the volume on the laptop. Hello, welcome to my channel, Crafty Fox DIYs. In this video, I'm going to share with you an easy recipe to make peach cobbler. Let's get into it. To make this recipe, you want to start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees. You want to take an 8 by 11 glass dish and put 6 tablespoons of butter in it. And you place the dish with the butter in it in the oven while it's preheating. Now to a medium bowl, we're going to add one cup of self-rising flour, one cup of sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. And then you're just going to take a spoon and stir those together until they are all combined. Once those are all mixed together, then you're going to add in three quarters of a cup of milk. You can use whatever kind of milk you choose to use. And you just mix these up until they are well combined and all of the flour is nice and moist. No lumps in the batter or anything. Now in a smaller bowl, you want to add in two 15 ounce cans of peaches, three quarters of a cup of sugar, and you're just going to stir those up until they are combined. Once that's all mixed up, then add in one teaspoon of cinnamon, and then I add a quarter of a teaspoon of ginger to mine. You don't have to add the ginger if you don't want to. I just think it gives it an extra little kick of flavor. And then you mix those all up together very well. Once the butter is melted in the dish, then you take it out of the oven and pour your batter into the pan. You just pour it right in over top of the butter and then take your spoon and make sure that it's spread all the way across the bottom of the dish. Once that is all spread out, then you want to spoon your peaches over top of the batter. I didn't completely drain my peaches. You can do that if you want to. I'd left some of the juice in mine and then still strained some of it out of the bowl as I am putting them in, in the dish on top of the batter. Once those are all in there, then we're going to put it into the oven. In an eight by 11 pan, this takes 40 to 45 minutes. You can also do this in a nine by 13 pan, but then you want to reduce your bake time to 35 to 40 minutes. Now, once we get this out of the oven, we're going to let it sit for at least half an hour before serving it. This will help let the juices thicken up and all of that. And then I'm going to put some whipped cream on top. This is homemade whipped topping. And I will uh, put that video at the end of this one. That'll be the next video that'll pop up on the screen for you to watch. This is so good. Yummy. Okay, that's all for this video. If you make this recipe, let me know what you think of it. I'll see you in the next one.